Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, our topic is partial fraction decomposition and this is our episode number three. And this time we will be discussing case number three. In this case, the denominator contains quadratic factors. And here are some of the example that we're going to be dealing with. They, they belong to this case number three. Let's look at in very first example, this part is quadratic and this is irreducible. Once again, this part is quadratic. Quadratic means the highest power is two and likewise, this is quadratic as well. And one more thing, just keep in your mind that the degree in the numerator must be less than the degree in the denominator. And as you can see in all of our these examples, the degree in the numerator is indeed less than the degree in the denominator. And here is our very first example and we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this rational expression. We again are going to focus on the denominator part. As you can see in the denominator, the first factor is obviously linear and the second one is quadratic. So we have a two factors that means we are going to get two fractions the first one plus the next one okay so now for the first one since this is a linear so i am going to just put down x plus two over here and the next one is quadratic since its highest power is two we call it quadratic by the way and then the next step you know whenever we are dealing with the linear we always put a I'm sure you learned it from your previous episodes. And as far as the quadratic factor is concerned, we always put bx plus c. Always remember that is going to be the case when we are dealing with the quadratic factor. And here is in our next example. We in the denominator have got this uh, quadratic factor which is repeating twice that means we are going to put two fractions okay that's the very first thing we are going to do so i'm going to put down as you know when it's repeating twice we're going to put down on d with x square plus two power one first and then the next time is going to be x power two plus two power two all right the next step is since we are dealing with the quadratic factors so this is going to be the first one is going to be a x plus b always remember some constant time x plus another constant and likewise for this one is going to be c x plus d and here in our next example once again we are going to focus on the denominator and as you can see we have a one linear factor x power 3 that means it is repeating itself three times and the next one is quadratic factor so that means all together we're going to have four fractions so i'm going to put down first one plus always put a plus sign in between each fraction three fractions plus another one all right the very first thing is let's focus on this linear factor x power 3 as you know that the first is going to be x power 1 then it's going to be x power 2 in the denominator and then x power 3 when they are linear and when they are repeating themselves and the second one is our quadratic factor so i am going to put down x power 2 plus 3. now let's take care of the numerator so since this is linear i'm going to put simply an a constant some constant a for this one second fraction is going to be a b 
third one is going to be a C. And for the fourth fraction, since this is a quadratic, so we have to be very careful. So this is going to become DX plus E. All right. And here is an our final example. We are going to take care of this one. Let's focus on the denominator part over here, which is x power 4 minus 1. And I have just copied down this x power 4 minus 1 right here. Let me just show you. Let's focus on this x power 4. I can write x power 4 as x power 2 and then power 2. And 1 could be written as minus 1 square. And now, as you can see, this represents the difference of two squares. So we are going to be using this well-known fact, the difference of two square, a square minus b square equal to a minus b times a plus b. That means I can write this one as x square minus one times x square plus 1. And now we are going to focus on the first parentheses, this part only, x square minus 1, which could be written as x square minus 1 square. Once again, this represents the difference of two squares. We are going to be using the same fact, a square minus b square equal to a minus b times a plus b. Let's go ahead and take care of that one for this part only. So that's going to become simply x minus 1 times x plus 1. And we have already this thing here. I'm going to just bring it down x square plus 1. So that means, so this is a complete factorization factors of this x power 4 minus 1. So thus this rational expression could be written as 1 over x power 4 minus 1. The complete factors are x minus 1 times x plus 1 times x square plus 1. So far so good. And now we can see in the denominator we got two linear factors and one quadratic. So we're going to have three fractions, one plus another one plus another one. So first I am going to put down x minus 1 in the denominator then x plus 1, and then x squared plus 1. And the next thing we are going to do is on the numerator, on the top part, for this first fraction is going to be a constant, and then, then it's going to be, the second one is going to be b. And for the third fraction, since this is a quadratic, I'm going to put down cx plus d. And now the next thing is how to find the value of these constants A, B, C, and D. I will show you in our next episode. And finally, here is our case number four. In this case, we call is improper fraction. In other words, the degree in the numerator is always greater than the degree in the denominator. And here is the example. As you can see in the numerator, our highest power, our highest degree is 3. And in the denominator, the highest degree is 2. That means this, is, this fraction is called improper fraction. And by the way, this case is we also call it a very special case. And we have to be very careful when we bump into this kind of scenario and when finding the partial fraction decomposition in this case i will show you two nice different methods later on 
Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.